Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Not A Sidekick Productions. Um, so today we're doing not your normal podcast video. Today, uh, as always, I am Lemus, and I'm going to be taking us on a taste test trip to Japan. Uh, anybody who follows my Lee's Zephyr books page that I do for all my author stuff, um, I did a haul video not too long ago talking about a recent vacation I took up north to Florence, Kentucky to visit my parents and hang out up there. And while we was up there, we went to the mall and I ended up getting a Japan crate um, to do a little taste test and a bunch of snacks to try for you guys. Now with me on audio on the chat, we do have as always, also as always, Digital Dachi is with us. Um, I have to always put as always. Yeah. As always, as I always do, as I always will, as it always shall be. And that way, when we get merch, we'll have a shirt that just says, as always now. <laughs> you know, exactly. So I got this this little booklet tells you what all's in there. You know, I'll just give you guys a quick speed through. I don't want you to peek ahead. And then on the yeah, back. I can't really read it. But yeah, on the, we were going to do this in person, but I apparently have come across a yeah. sinus infection or some sort of thing i am not in my house yeah i don't blame you like it is a bad time of year for it especially here uh where we live and stuff it, allergy and pollen season hits hard i mean mine has been ish this year normally i was telling donchi earlier normally i get hit awful with it every year um and so far this year, I've dodged it. Now, granted, it's just April 7th, and it's still plenty of time for me. Um, but, again, the past couple of days, my nose has been really bad stopped up. And I was having, last week, I was having, like, nosebleeds and stuff out of nowhere. So it's it's working its way to get into me, I think. But so far, other than a stuffy nose, I'm okay for now. Uh, sounds like you got the worst of it, though. Uh, but hopefully, you know, you'll push through. Um, but that leads me to try all these weird foods on my own. Um, not weird. I don't want to use the word weird because I'm, I've never even had them, but different. They're very different. I will say that than what I, I usually, you know, I like trying different snacks and food and flavors as, as you'll come to learn on this channel and my other channel. Anything weird flavored, I like. I was drinking a, wa a watermelon flavored Mountain Dew earlier. I had a mango flavored Pepsi the other day. Like, if it's new and it's a weird flavor, I like trying even if it doesn't taste good uh the salted caramel pepsi they did a few years back for like christmas or whatever hated it it's the worst thing i ever drank in my life was salted caramel flavored you pepsi. watch your mouth about pepsi sir no 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 i love pepsi but the salted caramel flavor i did not like they do no wrong um, i didn't try it but it's pepsi they do no wrong I love Pepsi. I'm a Pepsi fan. I'm a big Pepsi fan. Um, I, I prefer Pepsi to Coke. I know that's controversial to some people, but I do prefer Pepsi over Coke. And yes, there is a difference. You can taste the difference because it's a superior difference in that Pepsi is superior. But they shouldn't put salted caramel in their drinks. I'm just saying that was not a good flavor. But every other flavor they've done, I liked the mango. I liked um, the cinnamon Pepsi that they do. It's like a fireball type taste. And my favorite flavor of Pepsi is they did a thing called Pepsi X a while back, which had a dragon fruit flavor to it. And dude, if I didn't drink a bottle of that every single day, it was so good. But I digress. I do like weird flavors of things. I went for a while um, back in the day where I had a subscription to Snack Crate, which did different kinds of snacks. It was kind of similar to this, but they did like all over the world. We had one from Italy, one from Ireland. We had one from um, maybe Brazil. It was some South American place. We had an Australian one. Um, and I did a couple of videos for those, which they're a bit older videos. I may throw those up um, sometime on this channel or the Lee Zephyr Books channel. Uh, but for today, we're doing uh, Japan Crate. It's an FYE exclusive Japan crate. I had more papers. Oh, here we go. Um, it also came with a voucher to, uh, well, you know, probably not. Yeah, it's $10 off. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and hold up there for you a little bit longer there. 
it's a this is just for coming to our video first come first serve first person to watch this video right there's a gift voucher for ten dollars off of your own uh it's it's here we go uh, see a gift voucher explore more candies from japan with the this unique code for ten dollars off a three six or twelve month prepaid premium japan crate subscription redeem at japancrate.com jcxfye100 valid on prepaid multi-month premium japan crate subscriptions only this code expires March 31st, 2021. So we're all we're all out of luck because it's April something now. So we all messed up. Uh, you messed up. Now everybody's going to try it and they're going to hate you. Well, if they watch the video and listen, I've done warned them, don't try it. I mean, you can try it maybe, but don't try it. Um, also, they have a nutrition facts page, um, which is nice. I like that. I like that I can know what I'm eating, kind of, but... I don't want to know what I'm eating to a point. Like, I'll look it up. But um, So on the back of this book, the this booklet that comes with it, it does say what's happening in Japan. Um, Kuwana Sugo Suigo Fireworks Festival. Sorry if I butcher that. I am trying to learn some Japanese on uh, Duolingo, but I'm still on, like, phase one. So bear with me. In November 21st, in celebration of the completion of the Ice, Icy Ice Bridge in 1934, this festival takes place on the banks of the Ibi River in Mi Prefecture and features 10,000 fireworks as well as underwater fireworks in many different designs that will be sure to catch your eye. That would be fun to watch. I, I've never seen underwater fireworks. Like, that's... That's something to look look up sometime or, or go see sometime, maybe. Um, then it has a thing that says, Learn Japanese. Uh, wagashi is tr means traditional Japanese sweets. This one's a long one, which I'm going to mess up, but... Gochisu Sama Dashita is thank you for the meal. And Onaka Suita means I'm hungry, which I am Onaka Suita all the time. Um... Talk so also, it's true. So also, because it is an FYE exclusive crate, it does come with um, 15 items, including a crazy Japanese candy, a drink, a DIY kit, and a collectible bonus item. $10 gift voucher towards future Japan crates, which we've done been over that. Um, and a booklet insert that includes product descriptions, fun facts, and more, which we just went over. So here's the outside of the box. Um, and I'll show you guys a look of the inside of first glance there. And obviously it had all the booklets I showed you in papers on the top here. Um, knock my computer over. Uh, Please do. That would be hilarious. It was $35 at FYE. Um, so the little product that it came that's not food, I'll go ahead and show that, is a stick marker. Um, and it's these little peep out like tabs that you can get. They're little dogs. And cats looks like, and they're like to put on the side of your notebook page, keep tabs and stuff, which is actually pretty cool. Like I said, where I do a lot of writing and a lot of like stuff with notebooks and stuff for my author stuff, that'll actually be really cool. I can use some of those. Um, so we're gonna dive right into this box here, as nervous as I am about some of it. So I'm actually going to open the booklet and I'm gonna try to just go down this list. For the most what, part, what's I'm, the uh, what's the list look like? What do you, mean, you want me to show you here? It... Okay, here's how we're gonna do this. All right. Yeah. You're gonna go down two from the left and go down two over three. That's what you're starting with. Down two over three. The drink. Oh, well, there you go. Starting with a drink. Okay. I assume that's the one you meant. I'm not sure if I did that right. Well, I mean, left. Yeah, down yeah. two, over, th wait. Hmm. I may have counted wrong. Show me again. Jesus. Gosh. Okay. All right, back it up a little bit. So down two, you get one, two, one. So am I counting this Yeah, as that one? counts as one. One, two, oh, okay. three. One, so two, the three. Candy bar. The... I can't see if that say is Umajibo. Ooh, yeah, Umaibo, Umaibo chocolate. So all right, that's what you're starting with. Away. Okay, okay, yeah. Since you're here, you'd be my my 
person you pick you pick the thing I've got to try. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Okay. This is it here. Cute little wrapper. Look at that little guy. It's very here's what I will say. This thing is very light. Like it, it I mean, this thing is like it feels like an empty wrapper almost, which mm -hmm. Um, it's about to be. Umabo is bringing you your favorite puffed corn snack, but now coated in delectable moist chocolate. Let's dive right in, shall we? Did you have to make that face? Oh, I just... Did you drop it? Only the best. Only for you guys. It's all for you. The wrapper was still closed, so it's it's fine. Five second rule, wrapper closed. Whoa. So here's what it looks like. Looks like kind of looks like a log in the um you know, that kind of sense. Just from that initial reaction, I'm glad I wasn't there. What man, he ate more. It's either really good or he's really confused. Second one. Okay, so here's what it kind of tastes like. You know Cheetos? Oh. Like Cheetos Puffs? Imagine a Cheetos Puff, but without the cheese dust, right? It's just the actual puff texture, but covered in chocolate. Very airy, very light. Not bad, but it, it just, again, it felt strange. It tasted like eating chocolate-covered air. Um, I know it, that makes no sense, but it's the best. It it it's the best way I can describe it. Definitely didn't make any sense. So that's pretty good. All right, we got a whole box of things. We got fourteen more things to get to. So pick your next option. Next thing that pops out, do the, the Texas corn top right. Texas corn. That's a pretty bag, too. Yep, it was, it was real flashy. Oh, I don't like that, though. Is this it? I'm nervous. <laughs> what have you done to me? What? What is it? What is it? Like, show the bag. Hey. Why is that kid's cheeks red and blue hair? I don't know. What's up with that Look cat? Spaghetti noodles? I don't know. Oh no. Oh here's a little picture of what they the puffs look like. Well, they, they look, look good, pretty delectable. They look good, but this makes me worried. And furthermore, it says Texas corn chips are actually crispy puff balls flavored with Okono Miyaki sauce. Light, fluffy, and savory. I don't know what Okonomiyaki sauce is. I don't either. Them. Second time. Also, I mean, once like, you say it once, you'd be able to say it again. Okonomiyaki? Yeah. yeah. It feels good to say. It. Let's just hope it's good. Let's hope it tastes as good as it is to say. Um, furthermore, it is odd to me. Oh, like, that's just a pancake. Really? Yeah, it's like a pastry type thing. <laughs> it looks like on... Oh, it kind of looks like an omelet with like ramen in the middle. I don't know. All right, let's just let's just dive in here. Also, I did want to point out though. I don't know if you can see this. Before I do that, at the top little thing here, there's like little cows and like paddles. Like, what's up with that? I don't. There's know. the thunder. It's storming here. Fixing the storm. Um, been storming here all day. Whoa, that is a strong smell. That does not smell like pancakes. I'm so glad I didn't have the opportunity to deal with this. Mm, it's got a weird taste, but, and I don't want to go back for another, but I feel like I have to to be able to figure out the taste. <laughs> this is for you guys. This is, oh, here, I'll show you what the puff looks like. That's cute. It's like a little sensu bean looking thing. Yeah, it looks like a little tater tot, 
maybe like a Captain Crunch nugget, but it does not taste like neither of those things. So would you say it's bad? It's not bad. It's just odd. Odd. It's just different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to say any of this is bad because like, I don't want to offend anybody and I don't want to like, because some people may love this. You know what I'm saying? Some people may love um, Okonomiyaki sauce. I just, it tastes like, to me, and again, this is just my taste palette, it tastes like a flat barbecue sauce, if that makes sense. Like, it tastes like a barbecue sauce that's maybe, like, set out too much, and then they they put, like, a really light dusting of it onto another Cheetos puff, a puff Cheeto. They really like this puff snacks, um, I'm learning. That's the other thing that baffles me about it, is, like, it's kind of like a barbecue, like a very generic brand barbecue-flavored Cheetos puff. Like, somebody took Sweet Baby Ray's, turned it into, like, powder, and dried it out, and then dusted it over some Cheetos puffs. Um, that's the other thing that baffles me. It's like, it's, it's like, and again, I'm not trying to like show my ignorance too much, but you know, I, I really have a, a big affinity and respect for Japanese. I'm trying to learn, you know, I grew up on anime and I'm fascinated with a lot of their culture and things. I've always wanted to go to Japan. Maybe that'd be a future video. Because you have to big. get there. I can't do it. I cannot get to Japan. I'm not going to fly, and I'm not going on a boat. Why? Have you seen my luck? Well, yeah, you've seen mine too, but... Yeah, um, but mine's I, way worse. Look, in the future, we don't know. They may have that big highway that stretches from here to there, or we may have teleportation devices. They've been working on the road next to our ha excuse me, houses ever since we were, like, four. But... My point to this was, I have a big affinity for Japanese culture, but I I don't I never realized if that there was any connection whatsoever between Japan and Texas. So the fact that it's called Texas corn, um, and they're called Texas corn chips. I mean, I guess it's because of the barbecue sauce, maybe. Um, I mean, but, Texas is known for barbecue, so I'd imagine. Well, exactly, but I mean, okonomiyaki sauce. I guess I don't know. It's weird. But it, it was not bad. It was just different, if that's the word I'm looking for. So, take from that what you will. Um, All right, next thing, the shimmy choco. Shimmy choco. Shimmy choco. You'll, you're never going to believe what this thing is. Oh, let me show you the bag. It's uh, very, looks very chocolatey, which I like. A lot of chocolate and like, like a little star. rainbow star. Yeah, it makes me think of like Rainbow Road, Mario type stuff. Here's the back. Not much there, but I'll show it to you anyway. So, you're not going to believe this. I'm starting to see a theme to this box. I'm this glad popular... it's you talking and not Levi Leather talking, because every time this... he says theme, it oh. freaks me out. Fair enough. This popular corn puff snack, more they really like puffed things over there. Um, is Kirby, was Kirby Jap Japan, did they make the Kirby games? I don't know. Maybe, probably. I feel like, because Nintendo's Japanese, right? Nintendo is definitely Japanese. Yes. Um, it's light in texture, but dense in rich chocolate flavor, and comes in a fun star shape. Ooh. I'm curious. Very durable bag. So this is Shimichoko. This smells like Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> oh my god. He's over here just... Cr if, if you for one second lean over out of the camera shot and I just see a straw stuck up and you next to your nose, it I know what you're doing. It kind of looks like Cocoa Puffs. Mmm. You need I to like make it. a pile of stuff you like, pile you really like. Stuff you were like, whatever, and then stuff you hated. Okay, don't like, don't fill up on all those. Jesus Christ. That's good, I'll say See that. what happens when he's alone with his own production things, like... Do a quick palette reset. He said quick. I'm pretty sure Water. he just drank half the Pacific, bro. <clears throat> Water. 
that were made up of it. Let's go with the Awadama Black. Very top Awadama thing. Awadama Black. Where is it at in here? This is like Jeopardy or something. It is. Uh oh. I'm not seeing the Awadama Black. Did they jip us? And by us, I mean you because I spent zero Wait, monies on it. Oh, it's just tiny. That's what it was. I didn't see it because it's tiny. On the picture, you know, everything is kind of like all the bags are kind of the same size. But it's this is the Awadama Black. Oh, God. That's going to be like a warhead, ain't it? <sighs> Awadama Black, literally meaning bubble ball black. Quite ominous for an innocent black cherry candy drop. Hmm. I don't like that they say that they point ominous. out it's ominous. And then they say, hmm, at the end. Why would you put hmm on there? Oh, man. I like cherry. I like black cherry. <sighs> oh, no. This is going to be sour. This is going to hurt. I can just tell by looking at that. God, that looks like that... Hitler's nut. Good so far. Is it a hard candy or... Oh, it's kind of hard, yeah. But. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> what is going on over there? <laughs> Man, this thing, it, it's really is amping it, up. <laughs> is, is it just everywhere? So. <laughs> God, is it sour? Yeah, like, it's a reverse warhead. Oh my god, it's a reverse warhead. That sounds amazing. Okay. <laughs> so, the outside, like, if you've ever had, like, uh, uh, warheads, you know how the, the first, like, coating is, like, that really sour, and then once you get through to that, it's pretty much There's just like this middle part. Yeah, it's like it's just like a weird kind of candy with like it, you taste more like if you got like a uh, watermelon warhead, it's just like a real like plasticky almost tasting watermelon flavored candy, like a real dull watermelon after you suck all the stuff off. This on the outside is like that. It's just tasted like a blackberry already been unsoured warhead but then the inside starts leaking out in these little holes of the sour stuff starts leaking out in like holes in it and then it hits you now for the sake of this video I'm going to not finish that because I got more to go through here yeah, like, here's the thing. I didn't hate it. Like, it was sour, but again, I like sour things. I grew up on Warheads and, uh, what are those one things called? Crybaby. The old gum is, like, really lemony. Lemon Heads was a big thing we I grew like up lemon on. Heads. I still eat Lemon Heads. I do, too. That's why I, I like sour stuff. Sour Patch Kids. You were talking about Sour Patch well, Kids got, earlier. I just ate a whole bag of Sour Patch Kids, and I've got another bag sitting on my desk. So, that's going to go in the like pile. I did like it. it very... It takes you by surprise because I like that. It, I kind of liked it though. Like, you're just like, oh, this tastes like a warhead that's already had the sour sucked off of it. But they put. Uh oh. I just can't hear you. What? Couldn't hear that last part, whatever you said. Oh, that's because I was whispering. I said they put the sour on the inside. What right. we got next? Um, that, that was one of the things I was afraid Cheetos? of. Yeah. Uh, just regular Cheetos. You just want some Japanese Cheetos. I, Here we go. I don't. I don't see how that can be. Yeah, I mean it's. And look, Cheetos. I don't know. I, like I said, I'm very short, but their Cheetos come with little comics on the back. You jealous or something? A little, yeah. I don't get comics on my Cheetos. Let's see if they taste different than our Cheetos. Wait, I should read the thing. Good, yeah. In enjoy this Japanese take on an American classic. These Cheetos pack a powerful, cheesy punch with every crunch. They even rhymed. 
Oh, I hate you sometimes. Oh, this smells strong. Smell like Cheetos? Kinda. They're not as orange as Cheetos usually are. Whoa. Hmm. Don't like it. They ruined Cheetos. It almost has like a weird sweet <laughs> taste to it that I don't like. How do you ruin Cheetos? No, it's like sweet cheese, and I don't, I don't like that mixture. I'd be interested to see how they make theirs versus like how American Cheetos are made. It had like a very sharp sweet taste to it, like sugar. Like it tasted like very cheesy. Like when I say sweet, it's not like you know eating like a cinnamon Cheeto, like these other corn puff things. It the cheese was there, but it tasted like they put sugar in their cheese, and it's just not. That's odd. It's not something you want to taste together. So I'm going to go in my pile with my Okinawaka. Mmm. Oh, uh, that taste. Do the melon pan. Melon. Pandaro melon pan. Which one is that? This one? No, this is Sanraku crackers. Oh, here it is. Ooh. He kind of cute. It's kind of cute little package right there. Look at that. That's Pandero, not Pandero. Well, you got a little tic-tac-toe on the back? I'd beat you every time at tic-tac-toe, so. Oh, I about read the wrong thing. This adorable panda-shaped cookie is rich with a delicious melony taste. A nice... Snack to complement an afternoon tea. I should have made tea. No. I love tea. I know most people like, that I know, most family and friends don't like tea. I like tea. I got a. I don't like drinking dirt. There. Um. Reminds me of a show we just started watching yesterday called Ted Lasso. Um. Ooh, I like that smell. Ooh, I also like watermelon or like watermelon or just can you know cantaloupe melon. I like melon stuff. As I mentioned earlier, I had a watermelon mouth earlier. So the cookie is broke, which is kind of sad. It's just into pieces now. I assume that's his eye. I'll show you there. It, it was crumb pre crumbled. My cookie broke. Sad, but you know it's a casualty of war. I don't know how a melon flavored cookie could taste though. I don't either. That's what I'm. Here to find out. It's not bad. It's very subtle. Like the melon, it's it's strong enough to taste good, but it's also just very subtle. Like it's not too strong to where like you're like, oh my gosh, what's in my mouth? It's just good. I like it. Pandaro melon pan going in the wind column. Oh, all right. We have a few things left here. One, two, three, four. Do the five. biscuits. Biscuits. Where are you? Get a mama biscuits. Oh no, that's the one I've been dreading. Yeah, at least I'm getting it out of the way. I'm really nervous about this, guys. I don't like peas. I know edamame is basically like pea. And there's a fire symbol up there. I guess what they make a uh, wasabi out of. I think it is, which is why I'm even more nervous, because I heard wasabi's rough if you don't have the palate for it. These crunchy, non-fried edamame biscuits are sure to keep your savory craving satif satisfied and your body energized. <sighs> nervous. <laughs> oh, that face. This one, and what... Now, here's the thing. Here's what I'll say. This and the... Awadama Black was the two things I was the most nervous about. And the Awadama Black was not that bad. So, of course, then I thought Texas Corn was going to be really good, and it kind of freaked me out. So, What's the bag, uh, bag look like? You didn't even show oh. it. Yeah, I did. I showed oh, it because yeah, I showed the little fire symbol. 
I didn't show the back, but uh, I don't know why I thought you didn't. I don't know. Ah, that's all good. You never pay attention to me. That's true. Man, at the time I forget you exist, so. I've got to enjoy this, aren't I? For you guys. Couldn't be that bad. He tried the rest of it. Hmm. Um, oh, here's what they look like. Now this, if you just break this off, it'll look like little sensu beans right here. Look at that. That's not bad. But who you were afraid of turned out to be um, all right. It tastes... I don't... See, I'll tell you exactly what it tastes like to me. Um, if there are any fans out there of Gardetto's or like Chex Mix, uh, specifically the Gardetto's mix, there are these little breadstick things in Gardetto's that actually are a similar shape. They're like little tiny breadsticks and wavy, but they're like a brownish, whitish looking color. Um, obviously, they're not pea edamame green but it tasted just a lot like those like a little like breadstick top snack um it just made me think of like a gardetto's snack mix and i love gardetto's uh so yeah not bad i've got one two three four five six more things which is good because i'm starting to feel the rumblies in my tummies uh not rumblies but the opposite of that where it's like hey what are, are you, you doing? doing? Yeah, like, why are you feeding us chocolate, melon, sour, barbecue sauce, edamame, you know? But yet, oh wait, no, technically seven things, because we still have the drink left. I almost forgot. Do the rice snack. Rice snack. Because as much as I hate what rice looks like usually, okay, I, I like rare. it as a... Like a rice cake. I like those. Oh, they have a little tanuki. Well, looks like a tanuki, maybe, on here. He's like an orange tanuki, though. Say it. Back up a bit. <laughs> oh, there you go. That looks right. like it's just got all kinds of seasoning on it. It does, which I like. I am here for this. What is this? Let's see. Uh, Sorry, I keep bowing my head to you guys. I, I gotta learn to read this up right Uh, I'll get it. Okay, Arare are traditional cross, crispy rice puffs from Japan. Try them in this sweet and savory nori flavor. Do uh, you want to look up what nori is before I dive into this? I'm curious. Uh, no momento, por favor. Whoa, that's a strong nori smell. Nori is I'm... dried seaweed, which is what I thought it was. Not a smell I like. You were pretty excited about this, too. I know. Why is it all the ones I, I was nervous about? God, that sounded crunchy. Sounds like a crouton is what it sounds like. It is very crunchy. Not if anybody likes ASMR, that right there will hit the spot for them. I don't know. Um, again, they love their puff corn snack, corn puff snacks. Um, not a big fan of that flavor. Um, like it's not bad. I'm not gonna seaweed and ramen that. once. I, I was, really? Yes, I didn't like it. Yeah. I say seaweed's supposed to taste salty. I I just hated it. Yeah, it. I don't know, and it may be because this is like a sweet and salty type thing, but I'm not real big on that. Um, considering I do still have several things to go through. You know, if it's something that I'm just not sure, not real big on, I'm not going to try another bite of that. <laughs> um, it did have a distinct taste, but I can't place it because that outer shell was really was like the sweet shell and it was very crunchy and then the inside was like that corn puff thing 
and it did taste like something, but I can't. Oh, the outer part of it kind of tasted like when you get the honey roasted peanuts, that kind of honey roasted type thing. That's what that outer part of that kind of tasted like. It had with that sweet kind of like gla hardened glaze almost over top of the corn snack. That's what that kind of tasted like. Um, which all that was good. And like, even now, like it, it settles a little bit better, but that middle taste, like the first taste isn't bad. Now that it's set, it doesn't taste bad, but that middle level, when I guess like the nori kicked in, I didn't, I didn't care for it. That was a bit too different for me. All right, let's go with, uh, the scones. Which I feel Ooh. like is also going to be terrible. They don't seem to do their cheese flavors well. Oh, yeah. Four cheese scones. Um, these scones, or corn curls, packs in the rich flavor of four different cheeses in every bite. Crisps, crisp, savory, and sweet. Yeah, they like sweet cheese. You'll definitely go through the whole bag in one sitting. We'll find out. Wait, is these? It is. Ooh, uh, yeah, I don't like how... Man, this is a massive bag. See, and it looks a lot like the Cheetos. Um, they got a little monkey man down here. Um, What's in the uh, mind of those Andy Cap hot fries? Yeah, but it kind of looks like Cheetos, too. Bag? Yeah, you're right. Oh, But it's a huge bag, though. Oh, here's that little monkey dude on the back. Um, some cheese. Orangutan? Possibly. That makes sense, because he's like an orange monkey dude. I gotta find a better room. My egg's gonna explode and it's just gonna shoot up in his face. And he'll have freaking Cheetos for eyeballs. Yeah, it looks like Cheetos basically, and it smells like the others. So, mm. again, why is it so sweet? I'm not gonna lie, you look a little miserable trying that one. I'm going to try one more because that one's small and I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt. But... It just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, again, it, mu it must be like a Japanese thing, which to each their own, but sweet and cheese just doesn't mix to me. Unless it's cheesecake, but that's different. Because cheesecake, the whole thing's kind of sweet. Um... With these, it has that salty, savory, but mixed with sweet. It's like salt and sugar mixing together and, and with cheese powder, and I'm just mm, not here for it. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five things left counting the drink. Uh, Do the ice cream. All right, now this is... Strawberry. Uh, fun fact, this is the kit, the DIY kit. As a DIY kit, you'll be able to make soft serve ice cream in a unique foamy candy form. It even comes with wafer cones to serve your handmade ice cream. So this could be interesting. How hard is it going to be? It's gonna like... That's a good question. Well, do we hold yeah, off on we, that one? We may have to for more than one reason. Here's my instructions. Um. Yeah. I've not got to that point in Duolingo yet where I can read Japanese instruction. Now, it looks like I pour it in a pan, pour some water in, mix it around, and it's done. But yeah, we'll, we'll tackle that at some hold other point. Hold off on that one, yeah. Let me see if it's got, like, a date on it so I know as long as it's good, you know. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it's good until September of 21, so. Or June of 21. No, September. It's good till September, so I'll hang on to that, and that's a future video. It says there'll be enough for everybody, so maybe we'll, we'll do a, a, a together video on that one. So, try again, Mon Capitan. Um, I don't remember all the ones we've done. I think the first row's out, the second row's out. Uh, well, I can tell you we're down to four items left, so I can just read them to you. At uh, point. Dealer's choice on this one. You you take this one. Okay. As long well, as it ain't I the drink. Say... The drink's going last, because I think you'll okay. enjoy it. Okay. That'd be your reward uh, for going through this hell. So we have sour long gum cola left. We have polinky light corn puffs. And we have... 
What is that other thing? That's... We have Sonkaku Cracker. The crackers. Yeah, that's kind of what I was wanting to do. Thank you. Um, another triangular snack coming in your crate are these Sonkaku veggie flavored crackers. They're a quick, savory snack and a yummy add-on to any salad. Um, I'm not big on vegetables typically, but I like veggie flavored snacks. Like I love um, veggie straws, and uh, I love like the uh, uh, like the garden salsa sun chips. So I'm kind of looking forward to these. Oh, sorry guys, I'm. I was so excited. I didn't show you the packaging before I tore into it. Okay, got a little tomato there. They look very good. They also look seasoned, like the pictures of the cra crackers. Can't do anything without messing up, can you? Let me take it out here. Whoa, it loaded this thing down. Here's my little trough. Quite a few crackers. Yeah. Mmm. Pretty good. I kind of like that. Um... It's got a. It, it starts off subtle and comes in strong with like the vegetable flavor. Um, it is kind of like a while back. I'd got these wheat. I think it was wheat thins or um. It was like a wheat thin top cracker, and it was like garden salsa or garden vegetable flavor, and it's very similar to those, like a Triscuit wheat thin top cracker. Um, but it's real good. I actually really enjoy that. Um, my only problem is it's gonna be hard to like, save that. Put it back in the tube here. All right, I've got sour long gum cola or polinky light corn puffs. Corn puff out of the way since they love corn. I love corn, but I don't know about and they like corn their puffs. puffs. Look at this guy. He's got a like a beret on his head, like he's French maybe. He looks terrified, which makes me concerned. I mean, if I'm about to be eaten, I think I'd be terrified too. Here's the bag. Like the bag screams. Wait a minute, wait a like minute. holds the flip the bag around again. That where it says thirtieth, that looks like a radiation symbol. I'm just saying. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> eh, whatever. If I turn into Godzilla's cousin. Oh, there we go. Man, they durable bags, man. You ain't got to worry about these things coming open. If somebody's going to steal your chips, you'll hear them coming from a mile away. Actually, you'll hear them get frustrated and just give your chips back. <laughs> like, fine, you keep them. Uh, looks like, like checks, but in triangle form. Focus here. Yeah, it's like a triangular checks. Whoa, that's a strong flavor. What is that flavor? Just a savory crunch. That dusting, like, it's not... Lord help me, I'm going back for another one. It tastes... Oh, that's what... Ooh, that's what it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Will's mm -hmm. returning now. Mm-hmm. I know what it tastes like now, and I kind of am here for it now. Now that I know what it tastes like, I'm here for it. So, if you are a fan of corn out there, anybody watching... Or dodgy. There's many different types of corn. There's kettle corn. There's popcorn. There's caramel corn. There's corn on the cob. There's like buttered corn you get around the holidays. And then there's a little thing called cream corn. You can buy cans of creamed corn. Yeah, it's good on corn. I've never had it on corn. That sounds good. Get cornbread in it, dude. Really good. <sighs> I love cream corn. I love it almost. Not more, but almost as much as regular corn. This tastes, this tastes <laughs> <laughs> like, like somebody took cream corn from a can and put it into a, a corn snack. 
Like, you know, other corn snacks obviously has like a corny base. This tastes like the base was cream corn that they used to make this. And it tastes almost just like eating it out of a can. Oh, it's good. That's good. Okay. Did you say that's your favorite thing so far? It's between this and the shimmy chuck. Yeah, the shimmy choco, the one that's like Cocoa Puff Stars. Um, those are my top two contenders right now. Now let's try Sour Long Gum Cola. I, I'm just really nervous about this one in a, in a weird way. What's the so, about it? You got this little guy on here. It says soda flavor. Um, enjoy the bubbly and refreshing taste of cola in this long gum. Munch and chew on this yummy candy with a sour kick. So here's my issue. I've had cola flavored gum. I've had sour gum. I've never had sour cola flavored gum. And that's what's kind of makes me nervous. It's very light and thin in here. I mean, it's gum, so I guess that's fine. But... Again, I've never had gum. See, uh, that's another like reason that you're doing this, because I can't have gum. Oh, fair enough. I just bit a little piece off there. You know, see, that's what it looks like underneath. It looks like an uncooked pizza roll. Doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. The first initial taste had just a tiny bit of sour, but not really that sour. It does taste very soda-y. If you've ever had, like, other soda-flavored gums or candies, like... They actually make a, like, cola-flavored gummies. Or little gummies that have, like, a, a root beer cola soda flavor. It tastes a lot like those. It just tastes like... The little soda flavored what gummies. Shaped like barrels. Some, Some of them. The ones I got, they're shaped like bottles. But not bad. That's not bad gum. Obviously, I can't have gum when I drink my rumune. Guys, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for this video. And Dachi, it goes for you too. Um, despite you helping to add to some of the torture making me sit through this alone and sit through this. I mean, I'm not alone. I have you. I have our fine viewers at home shouting at me out, out of rage over one thing or another. Or probably, cheering me on. Probably for butchering half the names you've said, but that's the point. That's true, but, you know. Um, Ramune Melon Flavor. Ramune is a classic Japanese soft drink. Each bottle is sealed with a marble that when pressed down, releases and opens the drink. Now, I've had Ramune Japanese soda before once. Um, and I loved it, but it was a different flavor. I had, I don't remember the flavor that I had. It was like their traditional flavor. Um, my brother actually bought it for me. I can give him a shout out. I'd never had it. I've always seen it in the stores in like the... Um, like the aisle where they have like the ramen, the ramen aisle and they have fortune cookies and like soy sauce and stuff. They always have um, some of these Ramune bottles up on the top shelf. And I've always looked at them and been curious, but I've also been kind of nervous. That's why I've not, I had never tried them. Um, I do wish I had refrigerated maybe, but okay, here's your bottle. Got a happy little melon guy on here. Oh, there's some more. Oh, look. hello. They look like ditto. A little bit. Well, these two look kind of like Ditto. This one kind of looks like anybody grew up on Nickelodeon. Kind of looks like Face oh, from God. the old Nick Jr. stuff. Um, Ross, I forgot he was even a thing. Yeah, I know. Showing my age here a little bit. Okay, now these things you got to be careful. I did learn the hard way. But yes, thank you to my brother who. Oh, there. Thank you. Here's, I dropped my popper. Don't want to lose this. I've never opened one of them. Is that how you do it? Yes. So you take. So here is. You have this little orb in there. It's like a little bead. <clears throat> um, and you see how the sides here are like caved in a little bit. They're like oh. sunk in. You take this thing here, and you push down, and you push that bead, and it shoots down into here. 
Um, but you got to be real careful because sometimes it'll like shoot back up like the fizz and stuff. So I may make a mess right here on my desk. Let's tell the why. Um, kill me if I do. I don't know what this piece is. Is that like help stop it? No. Okay, that's still. Okay. So. Wish me luck. Oh, that. Ah, oh, it went perfect. So now, I don't know if you guys can see, but the little orb is down in there. You can see the little bubbles on it. And when I drink a little bit of this, I'll I'll show you. You can um, see it, like, rolling around in there. You can roll. It's kind of cool. Here we go. Bottoms up. <sighs> there we go. So, yeah. Now you can get a better look. A little orb in there. Um, it's good. The melon flavor is good. Uh, um, it's good. I think I liked the other flavor better. I don't remember what it was. I'll have to look it up and tell you guys. Which is odd because I do really like watermelon flavor things. It's just this one tastes like it has a bit more carbonation in it. Um, which is for the most part fun. Uh, but it almost tastes like when you go to a um a soda fountain at a um restaurant or somewhere like that and you the syrup hasn't mixed as well with the uh soda and it's very carb a little more carbonation than syrup. That's what this is. Like it's not it's not one of those ones where you get and it's like straight carbonation and you can't taste any syrup and it tastes like seltzer water or something. It's not that bad. But it it does taste like the carbonation is more so than the syrup. So I'm not, you know, it's all right. Um, but guys, that is Japan Crate FYE exclusive other than our little um, ice cream kit. Here's what I can tell you. i still got eight hours of work tomorrow to pull and some work next week. I'll be taking me with me. Some little garden crackers here. These, uh, what are these called? Let's see the names here. Let me do this right, proper send off. I'll be taking some Sankaku crackers with me. I'm definitely taking my Polinky Light Corn Puffs with me. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this. I may take some edamame biscuits. Um, I would be taking this Pandoro melon cookie, but since it's already broken and it's about gone, I'm just going to finish it off. Um, and I am definitely taking my little shimmy choco. These little chocolate corn puff stars. Those things are good. Those are probably my favorite, honestly. I think if I had to if I had to pick a favorite, it is shimmy choco. You are the winner. Well, I was gonna make you a pick a favorite, so at least we got that out of the way without too much hassle. Yeah. I'd say my top three is Shimmy Choco, the Polinky Light Corn Puffs, and then the uh, Senkaku Crackers. And then, heck, if I'm just rating the rest of it, then probably this Pandoro cookie that I'm still eating on. The Edamame Biscuits. What's the, the absolute worst? Uh, I don't want to offend anybody. My absolute worst is a three-way, sort of two-way tie between both of their cheese snacks, their Cheeto snacks, because that weird sugary sweet cheese, no thank you, and then the nori puffs. Actually, no, you know, I take that back. It's the cheese. It's the Cheetos. Both of the Cheeto snacks, the uh, scones... And then the actual Japanese brand Cheetos, those are the worst. Just hands down, those two. I'm just going to put them in the same category in last, since they're both basically the same thing. They're just weird Cheeto snacks. Just one has a different name, different brand. Because I forgot the nori, the, the initial taste and the aftertaste of the nori was actually all right. It was just that middle taste. So, like, I was going to put it in last place with them, but no, it still had some bright spots to it. Those Cheeto snacks, there's just no redeeming that. Um, for me, anyways. 
sweet cheese, man. I don't, I don't sweet get it. Sweet cheese is a weird cheese, in my opinion. Yeah. But everything else was pretty decent. You know, I enjoyed it. Like I said, it was $35 for the whole thing. And, like, it's not a bad price, really, when you think about it. Because a lot of this stuff, I mean, would have cost you... You know, some of these bags, like that bag of Cheetos, other than the fact that it was terrible, is a pretty good-sized bag. That would have been like a 2 $3 bag alone. These things would have been a couple dollars. Uh, some of this candy stuff would have been a dollar a piece. Some of these other chips. This Polinky Go Light Puff thing would have been a dollar or something. That drink, I know those are uh, like 3 or $4 at the store. Um, so, yeah. And, and then you, these little sticker pads, this probably would have been about 4 or $5 alone. Uh, so I definitely think the money's worth is in there, especially if you're like me and you're, you know, from, you know, Southern Kentucky, Southeastern Kentucky, where we don't get to try a whole lot of different, you know, snacks from around the world. If you, you know, you want to try a different experience, uh, branch out there, learn a little more culture. And like I said, th that's the thing too. It was fun just reading through some of these, learning about it, learning how their take on stuff and, uh, some of these snacks and reading, and then even the thing about the fireworks in the back. I've never seen underwater fireworks. I'm probably going to look up a YouTube video of that later, which, granted, I would still like to see in real life one day, but I'm curious on how that works. So, you learn a lot. Um, and I will comment, I do notice that my camera is getting gotten darker, my lighting situation's gotten darker, and I don't know why that is. Um, actually, if I'd have been thinking... I could have, like, done this. I don't know why I didn't think to brighten it up the whole time. Um, but I don't think it was... Out, when I was looking earlier, it wasn't that dark. I guess just because it's getting dark outside. Um, but it's for our editor to help figure out. Uh, but this has been a fun little video, a fun little trip. I really appreciate you guys coming with me on it. And, uh, again, I appreciate Dachi for taking the time out uh, with him feeling rough and everything during his sinus infection and allergy season to uh, come and narrate me through this and guide me through this journey. Even if you couldn't be here in person, you was here in spirit. Um, a ghost now? Like, I didn't die. No. You just, no, you're just... You're like uh, um, uh, Doctor Strange. You astral projected that kind of spirit. You're uh, still alive. You just astrally projected yourself over here to torture me. And, you know, that's... If I was doing that, you'd be getting hit in the back of the head. Friendship. Well, you know what? Whenever I had that sour thing, that warhead thing earlier, it kind of felt like being hit in the back of the head, let me tell you. Um, yeah, so it's been fun. Um, do we have anything to announce or to, to any videos to direct them to? Um... Well, you're, you're you're fixing to have stuff up on your book channel. You're gonna have another video. Yeah, I'm gonna have that vlog and haul video I talked about, which I actually do show off this box in that. Um, and then in that video, I actually reference this video, so it's a fun little referencing back and forth. So that is on the Lee Zephyr Books YouTube channel, and uh, I'll try to because that should be up hopefully tonight. Um, at the time that we're recording this. So at the time we have this up, that should already be out. So I'll throw a link to that down in the description of this one. So you can go back and watch that and get a little bit of preview in it. I just, uh, again, recently I had some vacation time at work and we used the vacation time to go up north to Florence, Kentucky to visit my parents um, and stay with them for, we was up there for five days, four knots in five days. Um and we had a pretty good trip, pretty fun trip. Me and the wife went down and went to the mall, tried a bunch of new restaurants, different restaurants. Um, and we bought a bunch of like cool stuff while we was at the mall. And at uh, we went to Barnes & Noble, um, which they have up there, and another store, a couple stores they have up there that we don't down here. And um, also, I, I showed a few haul things. Myself, my wife, and Digital Dachi also went to a comic book store up in Somerset that we visited recently. And I... Uh, talked about that trip and showed off a few of the purchases we made there so it's a good little haul video it's mostly just me showing off haul and collectible stuff and letting you guys know the prices and where to find it and then just talking about the trips in general just giving you guys a little description now eventually hopefully uh going to get my 
more mobile camera up and running and I just recently got a new phone that's going to allow me to do more actual videos while we're on the trips. Like, I mean, I currently just did talking about the trip and showing some food and stuff, but hopefully in the future I will get, um, be able to actually get actual footage of us on the trips and vlog videos. So that'll be good. Uh, and then I know probably will be uploaded or out before this. I know me and Dachi both went and seen Godzilla vs. King Kong. We did a reaction video to that, talking about our thoughts after the movie, after seeing it. It is going to be a spoiler discussion, but if you've seen the movie or if and, you don't care about And be gentle. It's the first time using all this new equipment we got. So yes. I got to mess with the audio stuff and see how to deal with it. Doing a lot of working on it, and like I said, even with this, we're new. We're new here, you know, as the saying goes. Um, but we're doing this for you guys because we, we want to share our lives and adventures and our, our zaniness with you guys, and we want to bring you along adventures and our thoughts and welcome you guys into our world and our life a little bit because who knows, you know, maybe it gives you just something to watch, put on in the background while you're doing homework or doing schoolwork or doing work work or whatever you're doing. Or maybe, you know, you're you're just looking for an escape. You know, that's we're here to help, here to just look for us, we're we're getting to hang out and talk and eat crazy food and just you know, but so what we would ask, what I would ask in return is interact with us. Let us know if you've had any of these things. Um maybe if who knows, if we have any Japanese viewers or or Asian American viewers that have tried any of this stuff or may know some of it, if I was pronouncing it wrong, please, you know, definitely were. gently let me know. I mean, definitely let me know because I want to learn. I, I, I said earlier to somebody at work, I like to learn. I'm not very good at it sometimes. I'm a little slow to learn, but I do like to learn. Like I generally, I like learning new stuff. And so comment, holler at us, or if, if, you thought something was funny, or if you just want to see more, if you want to see more taste test, more Japan crates, let us know. That's something we will provide for you guys as long as we know what it is you want to see and what it is you guys like. Um, so yeah, definitely let us know. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff that you, you've hear, heard a thousand times before. Um, and you'll hear in every other video that's ever been put on YouTube. Back. And there's the thunder for me. Well, it's still thundering a little bit here. It's just it's multi-reaching now. Um, let us know if it's thundering where you're at. Comment below. <laughs> um, yeah, just holler at us. Let us know your thoughts on everything. And thank you so much for joining us. And I think, uh, do you have any final thoughts, sir? Taking his silence as a no. No what, final I missed, thoughts. I missed that because... People like to interrupt me. Oh. Um, uh, did, did you have any other final thoughts, sir? Uh, any way to watch you... Oh, I've just made all kinds of problems happen. So, if there's going to be a little noise at the end of this video. But, uh, there's my brain going bye-bye. The gears are turning. Oh, they're not turning. No, they're stuck. They're stuck. Yeah. He's got gum in, gum yeah. in the... The gears. They're all cogged up with mucus. Gum, gummed up. Uh, well, yeah, I forgot you're sick. I don't know how I forgot. But, but anyway, we're going to actually I'll probably upload this video as soon as we quit here. So uh, right. we'll figure something out on that. Any other things we got? I'm going to work on the Godzilla thing here in a minute, too, while okay. I still have Lemus with me. Uh... Who knows, it ain't exact, well, it ain't exactly late. We might be able to do something else tonight, who knows. Who knows, if not, like I said, we got I got an idea for another one, so. Okay. Well, uh, we'll just see you guys in the next one, and hopefully everything, like, give us suggestions. We need suggestions. Yeah, holler at us, let us know Our what you R&D is up to all kinds of no good. <laughs> it's all gummed up like the gears. Uh, hopefully it's not sour long cola gum that's gumming up the work. All right, guys, I'll see you guys uh, on the next video. Catch you guys later.